Welcome amigos to the School of Motion Graphics. My name is CM De La Vega. It's been a while since my last tutorial. I've been a little bit busy working on several projects, one for ESPN, and I've been on the NFL Network. And this tutorial will be based on something that I did recently for the NFL Network. It's uh, creating some panels, some moving panels, and what we're gonna do is I'm, we're gonna modify this tutorial so it'll be a slideshow for your pictures because I know a lot of you um, myself included, we're always using slideshows and very cool ways to animate your pictures. So this will be a two-part tutorial. The first one is on setting up the panels for the slideshow and the second part I'm going to show you four different methods to animate the slideshow. So check it out, sit back, enjoy. The first thing is we're going to create a new composition and let's create a 1920 by 1080 23.976. Let's make it 10 seconds long. And we're going to call this two panels. Hit OK. And let's go to our rulers, go to view, show rulers, or control R. And what we're going to do is make sure that you have view, show guides, and snap to guides turned on. And using our little information here, the X and Y, we're going to create, we're going to drag these guidelines. And this one, we're going to put it at zero. We can zoom in to make sure we're at zero. Right here, zero. Let's move this one to zero on the X. Down here, let's move it all the way and let's make it 1080. Perfect. And then this side, let's move it and let's make it 1920. So what we did is we made a border on the edges. Now this is gonna be the two panel the two panel composition. So if we bring up our calculator and we do 1920 divided by two, that's 960. So at 960, we're gonna create a guideline. So let's drag it and let's go to 960. We can zoom in, make sure it's exactly at 960. This was a little bit off. 959, 960, there we go, 960. So this is the two panel, let's make a copy and let's call this three panels double click and let's use this one hold on let's go back to our calculator and if we go 1920 divided by three we're going to put a guide after every 640 pixels so let's move this one and let's move the guide to 640 zoom in make sure we're at the right spot 640 perfect and we go back 640 plus 640, 1280. So let's go to 1280. And once again, we're using the numbers up here to help us put it exactly where it should be. Let's go to 1280. Perfect. And now let's make a copy, Control D. Let's call this four panels. Four panels, let's call this horizontal. Horizontal. Double click, and what we're gonna do is bring back the calculator. 1920 divided by four is 480. So every 480 pixels, we're gonna put a guideline. So let's go to this one and let's go to 480. Let's zoom in a little bit. 480 and 480 plus two is 960. So let's go to 960. 480 times 2 is 960. And then 960 plus 480 is 1440. Let's put one at 1440. Let's zoom in. Okay, perfect. So this is the four panels. And let's create one more and let's call this four panels and we're going to call this square. Double click and what we're going to do is we're going to make this is delete this one. And the way that you delete it is you grab the guide and then you just put it all the way to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to do squares. Actually, it's not going to be squares, it's going to be rectangles. but if we do this length is 1080, so if we do 1080 divided by two is 540. So let's put a guideline at 540, let's drag it down. We're looking at the y-axis now. 
540 right there. Let's zoom in, make sure we have it right. Yeah, 540, 5, 540. Perfect. Now let's create a new composition. Let's call this picture A and make it 1920 by 1080. All this is fine. Let's hit OK. Let's make another copy. Control D. Let's call this picture B. And let's add some pictures. So in picture A, let's put a picture of, this is a nice picture of Nicaragua, one of the beaches. Let's scale it up. And we can add, let's move this in. Let's take this away. Hit some keyframes. And let's, let's do a zoom in. So it'll do a subtle, it'll very, very subtle. It'll zoom in a little bit and let's go to picture B and let's put a, let's put this sunset and let's scale it up. Actually, let's see, let's see what other shots we have. Let's put this one instead. And let's do the same thing. We're going to scale it. Let's go to 200. Maybe a little bit more, two or five. Okay. Now let's go to the two panels and let's create a folder. Let's call this two panels. And then in the two panels, let's make two copies. One, two. And let's put this inside and let's call this two panels. And this is going to be the left side and this is going to be the right side. So let's go to the left side. And let's put in our picture. And let's put let's go to the right side and let's put in our picture again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut each one out. And the trick to cutting them out, cutting each section, is using the composition setting. So hit control K. And what we're gonna do is we wanna cut it in half. So go to the width, 1920 divided by two. But what we're gonna do is go to the advanced tab and we're gonna anchor it on the left side. So it's gonna so it's gonna keep the left side. Hit OK. Let's go to the right panel and once again, control K and we're going to do 1920 divided by two, go to advanced and let's anchor it on the right side. So this is a very fast way uh, to split up your compositions, your different individual panels. And if we go to our panels, two panels, we bring in our two individual panels. Now we can easily the left side move it here snap it and make sure that you have snap to guides that way it'll easily snap to the guides and there we have it it's ready to be animated and then just zoom in and make sure that you're not overlapping it's perfectly you're not overlapping any sometimes you might you might be a pixel off and you might see like a little line so just make sure that you're perfectly like right now it's 48.5 it should be perfectly 480 so just make sure that you're perfect. Let's go to the three panels. Let's create a folder first and let's call this three panels. And let's go to the three panel and let's make three copies. One, two, three, control D. Let's move it into the three panels folder and let's call this three panels. This is going to be the left. This one is going to be the middle and this one is going to be the right. So let's go to our three panels. And what we're going to do is bring in our picture A. And let's go to this one, our middle. Let's bring our picture A. And let's go to the right. And let's bring picture A. Now let's, we're going to divide it in three. So hit Control K. And we're going to do 1920 divided by three. And go to advanced, go anchor it to the left side. Perfect. Hit OK. Now let's go to the middle one. Hit Control K. 1920 divided by 3. And this time it's perfectly in the middle, so we don't have to do anything. Hit OK. And go to the right side. Hit Control K. Let's do 1920 divided by 3. And let's anchor it on the right side. Perfect. Now if we go to our three panels, let's bring in our individual panels and let's go to the left one. Let's move it, snap it. Let's go to the right one, move it and snap it. And let's hit P and make sure it's perfect. Okay, it's even, 319, 960 and 1600. Perfect. 
here we have it. Actually, you can see that this one should be 320. 960 and 1600. Okay. Panels. Let's close these panels. Let's close this one. Let's close this one. Let's go to the horizontal. Let's create a folder and let's call this four panels and we call it H for horizontal. Let's make four copies one, two, three, and four. And let's bring it here. Let's call this uh, one, two, three, and four. And let's go in. Actually, let's do this. It's an easier way, amigos. Let's bring our picture A. Perfect. Now let's make three copies. One, two, three. Go to horizontal one, hit control K. And we're going to anchor it on the very left. And let's do 1920 divided by 4. Perfect. Let's go to the second one. And in the second one, what we're going to do is let's grab the mask. And let's, grab, let's make a mask. Hit Control K. 1920 divided by 4. Now this one, we're going to have to move it over. So let's move it over. And then we can delete the mask. We don't need it. We just use a mask to help us. Let's go to the third one. Control K. Oh, let's do the mask first. Click on the click on the layer. Click on the mask tool, and then let's click on the mask. And hit Control K. Nineteen twenty divided by four. Grab the layer. Hit V for the move tool, and let's move it over. We don't need the mask anymore. Let's delete it. And the fourth one, hit Control K. Let's do 1920 divided by 4. And let's anchor it on the right side. Perfect. Let's go to four panels horizontal. And this is misspelled. I see horizon, horizontal. OK. Let's fix this. Let's call this four panels H. Let's call it H. And last, let's go to the square. Let's put in, let's make a copy. Let's make a folder and let's call this four panels. Sorry, let's call this four panels square. And let's put in this one and let's call this four panels S1 for this first square. So for the squares, we're going to do like in geometry, we're going to go in quadrants. This is going to be the first one. Second one, third one, and fourth one. So one, two, three, four. We're going counterclockwise. Let's put in our second picture. And what we're going to do is for this one, let's make three more copies. Two, three, four. I'm sorry. Let's do it again. Let's close all this. Okay. Four panels square. We have this one. Let's take this one away. Four panels, let's bring our picture B on the four panel square one. Delete this one. Okay, let's make three copies. One, two, three. And what we're going to do is control K. And we're going to do 1920 divided by 2. 1080 divided by 2. And we're going to go in the corner. So it's in the corner. Hit OK. Let's go to square two. Hit control K. And same thing, 1920 divided by 2, 1080 divided by 2, and we're going to anchor it on the upper left-hand corner. For the third one, Control k once again, 1920 divided by 2, 1080 divided by 2. Let's anchor it in the lower, lower corner, lower left corner. And then square 4, Control k let's do 1920 divided by 2. 1080 divided by 2 and let's anchor it in the bottom bottom right corner 
So let's go to our four panel square. Let's bring each one. So square one, let's move it up. Square two, let's move it here. Three, let's move it here. And four, let's move it over. And once again, let's make sure that everything is lined up. This, uh, I'm not sure this should be 479. I think it should be 4, 470, 470, 480. It should be 480. Okay, perfect. That is part one, amigos. This is the setup. And we're going to go to part two right now where I'm going to show you the animation. I'm going to show you four methods to animate these panels. And then we're going to all put it together. That is it for this tutorial, the first part. Amigos, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget to join the School of Motion Graphics. I'll make this whole slideshow, the template for you, available to use for those who sign up. And the second part will be coming out next week.